Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today we will talk about ribosomes. In 1955, George E. Pallid discovered ribosomes and described them as small particles in the cytoplasm that preferably associate it with endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes बहुत ही टिनी क्रैनुलर स्ट्रक्चर है जो साइटोप्लाज्म में फ्रीली फ्लोट करता है या एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम के साथ बाउंडेड होता है ईच राइबोसोम इज मेड अप ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड आर एन एस राइबोसोम्स आर नॉट बाउंड बाय मेम्ब्रेन्स एंड सो और ऑल्सो फाउंड इन प्रोक्रियोट्स but no doubt that eukaryotic ribosomes are slightly larger than the prokaryotic ones what is the function of ribosomes ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis and protein synthesis is extremely important to cells and so large number of ribosomes are found in cells you know that when ribosome is not working it dissembles into smaller units these are the units of ribosomes the larger one is 50 sevetberg and the smaller one is 30 sevetberg now the other things about ribosome is that the word ribosome in this the rib means ribonucleic acid ribosomes are different from most of the organelles in that that they are not surrounded by protective membrane they are small organelles but they are very important as they undergo the process of translation ribosomes help in making protein synthesis now can you live without ribosomes every chemical process and damage repair in cells requires protein aapko pata hona chahiye ki hamare liye protein kyun important so proteins involve hai repairing of the body mein without proteins the cells in the body will not be able to synthesize proteins and function properly so without ribosomes life will not be possible in living organisms what are the two main functions of ribosomes so the main functions of ribosomes are decoding the message and the formation of peptide bond now from where it decode the message basically tamam information डीएनए के पास मौजूद होती है एंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट डीएनए इज प्रेजेंट इन द न्यूक्लियस डीएनए कभी भी न्यूक्लियस से बाहर नहीं आता सो हाउ इट गिव इट्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू द ऑल बॉडी यस डीएनए अपनी इंफॉर्मेशन मिसिंजर आरएनए को देता है और मिसिंजर आरएनए पोस्टमैन का काम करता है ये अपनी इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड करता है प्रोटीन को कैसे वेन डी एन ए इन कोड्स इट्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू आर एन ए दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड वेन आर एन ए डिकोड इट्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू मेक अ प्रोटीन दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज ट्रांसलेशन एंड ट्रांसलेशन अकर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ राइबोसोम्स so we can say that decoding the message and the formation of peptide bond is done by ribosomes eukaryotic cells have lots of ribosomes why because they are more advanced and the bigger ones agar aap eukaryotic aur prokaryotic cells ka difference janna chahte hain to i have made the video on that topic as well Now let's discuss some history. Ribosomes were first observed in the mid 1950s. 
using an electron microscope, a dense particle or granules. The main feature is that, that they do not have boundaries. They do not have the outer membrane. What is the shape of ribosomes? They are flattened and spherical. Other than that, what is the scientific name of ribosomes? The scientific name is ribonucleoprotein. What the word? Ribonucleoprotein. Who has the bigger ribosomes? No doubt, the eukaryotic ribosomes are the bigger ones. Are ribosomes present in humans? Yes. Human ribosomes are of 87 berg and has a molecular weight of 4.3. What are ribosomes in real life? So in real life, they are the organelles which are present in cell and help cells in making proteins. Now, which cells do not have ribosomes? There are some cells which are abundant in mammalian liver. The SER especially abundant in mammalian liver and these are the cells which do not have abundant ribosomes. Why? Because in liver, lipid synthesis occurs. Metabolism process is not occurring there. So that's why liver cells do not have ribosomes. Do ribosomes make hormones? Hormones are not manufactured by ribosomes. And do ribosomes use ATP or the energy of the cell? So as we know that ribosomes are the cellular machines and they make proteins, the molecules that carry out the majority of the life functions. To make ribosomes, cell need to make an abundance of amino acids, the raw material of proteins. So definitely for making the amino acids, ribosomes need ATP. So they use the energy of the cell. What are the colors of ribosomes? Mostly, ribosomes are found in red color. Do plants have ribosomes? Yes, because plant cells are eukaryotic ones. So in this way, today we talk about completely ribosomes. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.